Hey guys, it's Carter. In this video, I'll be going over what I sold on eBay today. Pretty decent day. My sales were right around $900. So here's the singles I sold. This was a really old listing because I used to write the condition as mint. Now I just go by eBay's four condition standards, which is near mint, LP, MP, and HP. But here we have Lost Origin, another old listing. It's always nice when the really old listings sell. Some 25th anniversary cards. I think we sold this for like two bucks each. And 151, always selling a lot of these singles. I restock these pretty much every day. And then this one is my new SKU system, which I will be numbering every card I list. That way I don't really need to like set, sort, or anything. I can just um, make a SKU. What I've been doing is like using the date as my SKU. So I'll do like, today is August 17, 2024. So my SKU will be 8, 17, 24, followed by the number 73. And then that way I can just, whenever I add new inventory, it just goes behind my current inventory on eBay. I found that a really nice inventory system for eBay and just requires a lot less sorting. You can't really do that on TCG player though because the way the pull sheets work for direct and such. But yeah, maybe I'll make a video about my new organization system I've been doing later. That's it for the singles. We have a bunch of slabs. Been selling tons of the Celebrations Classic Collection. I'm buying more of these singles recently. It's just crazy how fast these sell. I don't understand why these cards are so popular still. I have like over 30 quantities sold on some of these listings. I just do multiple quantity listing. And I haven't had anyone complain about like not getting the card in the picture. Which I thought might happen if I list multiple quantity for slabs. Aroma Lady. Secret Rare. Classic Collection. Sometimes it's worth it to grade random reverse hollows. This had been sitting in my inventory for a while, but we sold this for $50. And it's like a 10, 20 cent bulk reverse hollow. So always be on a lookout. I mean, it is harder to get reverses in gem mint condition, but yeah. I like grading those. Pikachu, General Mills, grade a few of those in 10, and then classic collection what else can i show in this video i've also been listing more bulk ultra rares on tcg player just to see how these do have a four floor price of one dollar um trying to just get like every ultra rare in stock since i'm at a dollar a lot of these cards are 40 to 50 cents on tcg player but i've noticed i have been able to hit like those multiple quantity carts with the cart optimizer due to having cards like this in stock. So like people will purchase a bunch of bulk and then like the cart optimizer will add one of my $1 ultra rares to their cart. But yeah, usually I just use these for like making bulk lots and stuff to sell on eBay. And I have lowered my bra buy price down to 35 cents. I know a lot of people are paying 50 cents still, but I have had people still sell for me. And that allows me to even like, if I get too much bulk of these, I can just sell to another bulk buyer for a profit. So that's always nice to be able to do. I used to always just pay like best possible rates on every single bulk car but I realized I don't really need to do that now that I'm more established so yeah thank you for anyone that has sold bulk to me I do take pride in my fast turnaround time like pretty much the day that the bulk arrives to me or like one to two days after at most you'll get paid I don't really spend too much time like condition checking every single card and deducting from people's payout unless i notice like all of the bulk that's sent to me is heavily played um i'll probably end up sending it back to you 
Because I do ask that you only send near mint bulk to me. So yeah, if you want to sell your bulk, just go to my website, carthron.com. Pretty easy process. I even give you like the estimated payout on my website so you know how much you'll be getting. But yeah, like I said, I rarely ever deduct for damaged cards, but please don't make it like the bulk of your bulk submission being heavily played cards. Yeah, that's about it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Smash like button, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Oh yeah, these are also some some magic cards I picked from bulk. I was trying to list these on eBay with my scanner, but I'm having an issue with the black border of magic cards and the auto cropping software of the Rico FI8170 scanner. So if anyone has tips on like auto cropping magic cards, let me know because a lot of times the cards will get cut off. Unless I select the white background option, but I don't want to use white backgrounds because all of my Pokemon cards and stuff I list with the black backgrounds. But yeah, these are just some cards I picked from bulk that I thought are bulk plus. Like over 20 cents hopefully, maybe not all of them. But yeah, uh, the large majority of these cards should be worth slightly more than standard bulk rates. This is a stack I had like sitting in the back of a box somewhere for a while. I, I've kind of forgot about it. Just need to get these listed. Oh, random unlimited card there. Yeah, I do recognize some of the playable cards when I'm going through bulk. I'm not like too up to date with the recent sets, but a lot of these cards are like reprints of stuff that has been around for a decade or whenever back when I played, so I do recognize them. But yeah, that's it for this video. Go smash like button, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.